Hello friends, so today we are discuss the fourth problem from the latest code forces round 693 problem name even odd game So I'll tell you in simple terms what this game is Alice and Bob are playing a game and there is some array and Alice will always move first as you can see now each turn a player will choose some element and remove from the array. So now you are given some array and then you will choose some point and then remove that element from that array. If Alice like if Alice choose even number then she adds it to her score. So from the array if she choose any even number then she can take out that even number from that array and that even number will be added to her score. And if she chooses some odd number Alice score doesn't change because if she choose some odd number then the like she will not use that number in her total score she will just throw it away. But reversal will be for Bob. Bob will add the odd value to its score but the even value should be thrown away. So now this game will continue on such that there is no element left in the whole array because they are constantly pulling out the elements from the whole array and then in the output or in the end you have to tell that if they both play optimally who will win the game and who has the best score. Now uh, you have to like seeing the constraints and also like drawing out some examples and seeing these test cases I, I like understand that this is a sort of greedy approach not a DP problem uh, but uh, first see that first try to draw it out some test cases and that's what we're gonna do let's see that I have some numbers and because both of them has different chances try to segregate out the even and odd numbers okay so let's assume that I have some numbers I'm just writing out the first like five numbers now segregate out in the odd and even numbers and also sort them out because see both of them are trying to find out the maximum score and thus both of them should be in a position that I should take out the maximum value first okay because I want to increase my value so sort them out uh, the odd numbers are or the even numbers on the, on the top so the even numbers are four and two odd numbers are five three and one which is fine cool now Alice chance is first now let's assume like just forget about the numbers let's assume that my number has only four and five okay now if Alice chance is first what will happen if Alice choose the fourth number because if she take an even number then only her score will increase if she choose this even number and Bob will choose the odd number what will happen Bob will win because Bob will get a larger score by choosing an odd number. So uh, Alice will definitely win. And because both of them are playing optimally, why will uh, Alice choose a state in which she will lose? She will choose, she will like better thing to tie the game, but instead not losing it. And thus, Alice will not choose this four, but she will instead choose this five. If she choose the five value, then this will not add her to the score. But now Bob will also have this only four and because Bob will not take even numbers, this will also not add to the score and the game will become a tie because both of the scores of them are zero. And that's a better position for Alice. Not to because Alice will be in a losing state and Alice because she is playing first, why she want to lose. And thus, it's not always beneficial to take out all the even numbers and odd numbers and that's the answer. Because Alice will take all the even numbers and Bob will take the odd numbers because they will add the answer and this is not the beneficial or benefit way to like play this game. And thus, for every state, Alice will ask herself whether I can win this state, whether only this part of this game till now, whether I can win or I can lose. She can only win that if her score and the numbers left because she can only take out or she can increase her score by even numbers and odd then Bob can increase her score by odd numbers if Alice turns is now she can only increase her number if she can choose some even number which is greater than the odd numbers present among them because if she can choose out somehow the even number which is greater then whatever odd number Bob will take she will always increase her score Bob will not increase too much but if there exists some odd number which is even more greater than the even numbers present then why should Alice make or bring the Bob into that state such that Bob will take out a bigger e odd number and Bob will win and in that case what like Alice will do Alice will take out the odd number such that the odd number very large number will be removed so you can assume or the example which I thought here is let's assume that there are some tens and like this is 10 and this is 100 now as you can see in this case if even or like Alice take one even number like 10 
and all the even numbers even like there are like three even numbers but still the accumulative sum of them is less than if bob just take one turn he will win and thus what will alice do she will try to delete this odd number sorry this is this can be 100 sorry if like she will try to delete this odd number such that bob don't have any chance and he will definitely lose and thus what you can do it's just like a two pointer with some greedy which i have used and it's worked because the thing here is what you can do first like take out the odd and even numbers sort them out from largest to smallest and then put two pointers here one for alice and one for bob now alice can either have two choices now alice can either take the even number increase the score or take out the odd number and decrease the chances for bob now if the even number for both the pointers is greater than the odd number then it's beneficial to take the even number because even if the bob take the odd number he will not win okay but if the odd number is greater it is beneficial to take the odd number delete it out and like move forward and thus in this case because the odd number is greater alice will choose this part and this pointer will move to this point now the bob will bob turn will be there now just reverse it out bob will try to get a number which is more bigger odd number but because the odd number is not that great if if we take out the odd number alice can take the bigger even number and can win and thus bob will take out this number now it's turn for alice alice will do the same delete out this odd number like like because now it's bob turn bob will delete out this number and now it's alice turn now because alice turn is there if i alice take out this number this will not add to alice and thus the game will end and it will become a tie which is like beneficial or better than losing because if alice take out all the even numbers it is less than the summation of all the odd numbers and bob will win but because alice is the taking the first chance she should like she can control the game somehow and thus that's the whole logic but there can be some cases which i have told you uh, so as you can like think over this problem more you will understand that okay it can happen that alice will take out all the even numbers like more even numbers and bob can take out like, like bob like, like the even numbers are very big which which you can think like this 100 100 and like maybe 100 and bob has only like 10 and 10 now if you take out these two pointers obviously alice will take out the even number and the total score will become 100 for alice and 0 for bob now bob can even has one chance to take out the 11 number or delete the value for alice and obviously he will delete the value for alice because he not he will not want the alice to make the score even more bigger so he will delete this even number and if he delete this even number it's fine now now it's alice turn now alice can take out this 100 because we have we are just taking two pointers she, she can like uh, take out this 100 her score will become 200 and thus this pointer go out of bound now there are still more elements left okay and now uh, now it's bob turn so bob will take out 11 and now it's Al alice turn so this will not be counted and the score will be 200 and 11 so as you can see if any of my pointers go out of bound all the rest element should be taken as it is and then uh, we just do chance chance by chance because all the elements are like all the single elements are left and all they are sorted so we just take chance by chance so if any of these pointers go out of bound then all the remaining elements should be taken and the for the remaining elements whose ever chances there he will take out the maximum then the next element should do maximum and so on so it's just a greedy approach nothing else just do a two pointer and then after that how many elements are left uh, do the same thing for that pointer so i'll take down to the code part not even make it more clear so yeah set the input of n even numbers odd numbers and uh, insert it in the even and odd vector sort them out from greatest to smallest okay there can be some more cases i have written down but uh, it, these are not required but still if there are no odd numbers if there are no odd numbers only even numbers obviously bob score will not increase and alice score will increase and thus alice will be the winner every time if if even are zero but odd is one if there is only one odd like you can assume that there is only one number which is like odd 3 so alice will take that number because alice chances first and thus alice will take that number and but it will not increase her score so the answer will be zero for both and the, it will become to a tie but if there is no even number but all the numbers are odd but greater than 2 it means that 
two or three odd numbers then it like because then bob score will only increase alice score will not increase because they are odd numbers and thus the answer will be bob so these are like, like just trivial cases i thought of them because if there is no even number or no odd numbers i thought about those test cases and these are the answer for those test cases but for the rest i and j are the two pointers p and q are the size for like the array for even and odd c is like the chance counter like who ever chances there t1 and t2 are the total score for them and i will do the value till that both i and j these two pointers are inbound which means that if the initial start is for like alice so alice is zero if the turn is for alice which is zero i have two cases if the even because alice will take only the even number if the e of i which means that the even number because there are two pointers i is on the even number and j is for odd if e of i is greater than o of j which means that odd number like which means that the even number is greater than the odd number for the two pointers then obviously alice will take the even number because that's beneficial to increase her score and thus the score for alice t1 will increase by even and will increment the pointer which is on the even like even vector else if alice do not take or the odd number is greater will not increment the score but the pointer from j will go to the next point and thus the chance will shift she will become equal to 1 and we will do the same for the next chance now if because the next chance is there so we'll do the reciprocal of this if odd is greater then increment the total score for bob uh, else is even is greater for bob chance then just increment the even point and in the end how many more elements are left how we can check that how many elements are left so any one of the pointers will go out of bound so the rest pointer will be inbound which means that i have two uh, like i have two vectors as you can see these two vectors are there both of these pointers are there any pointer will be out of bound but the next pointer the, the like one pointer will be still inside so for for this point of value till the end how many elements are left will be the elements which we have to process more so we'll do a for loop from x equal to i i are the pointers i and g are the pointers so or the actually the pointers which are moving so from i till p the size of the even all of the values which are left push them and same will do the forward it's just that we don't have to see that which of them is like which of them has gone out of bound we just start from the pointers which are inbound because both of them are one of them should have gone out of bound so whichever is inbound from that point to the element which are left we just push them in this other vector and now we'll again iterate over this other vector and do the same if chance is zero if chance is zero now because they again iterate from left to right and whosoever chance is there if the number is even alice will take it else alice will not take it if the number is odd bob will take it or not take it so it's very simple it's just greedy approach and then in the end we have the score for both of them if t1 is greater then alice will win if both of them are same then it's tie or else bob will win i hope you understand the logic and the code itself it's just a greedy approach using two pointers and something like that uh, i i just thought this problem in the like the contest itself because i just draw out some test cases the all events are there all ordered there in this points and thus it becomes relatively easy so if you still have any doubts you can mention in the comment box i'll see you next one keep coding bye